Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. ¿Sí me escuchan? Yes, Ishan. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? How was your day? I'm uh, fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Um, today is Thursday, November twenty third, two thousand twenty three. So this is um class number four. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to class number four. Um, today we're going to have a review about the previous topics and also we're going to study passive voice and vocabulary related to the unit one. Um, at the end of this class, you will be able to practice grammar, okay, the grammar that we have uh, studied in the unit one and vocabulary, okay. Good. Welcome, Altagracia. Welcome, Araceli, Johnny, Gloria, and Manuel Antonio. Welcome to this Hi, class. Hi. 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 Good evening. Welcome, uh, Jorge, um, Enrique. Thank you so much for being here on time. I really, I really appreciate that you are on time. Okay, welcome, William Alexander. Good. Okay. Um. We have here a exercise that is about passive voice. It is just a brief introduction to the passive voice. Okay, so. In order you can have an idea about the passive voice. Okay, I will give you the first uh, sentence here. Okay, the house was destroyed by the fire. Okay, that is passive voice. Cuando reportamos algo que sí sucedió, pero que ya pasó, okay? Eh, fue, fue, por ejemplo, fue hecho por, o en este caso destruido por, ese es un ejemplo, eh, escrito por, um, have you seen, um, have you seen in different products that says, uh, has been made or has been done by and you see china okay so that is passive voice so in this case the house was destroyed by the fire okay good there are some sentences that are not passive voice but you need to uh, recognize which is passive voice and which is just uh, past tense okay so, puede ser solo pasado o presente o, o passive voice. Okay, here, the school. Mm -hmm. Was or organized. Mm, in this case, no, no. Organized. The school organizes, uh-huh. Summer trips. Uh -huh, summer trips. La escuela organiza viajes de verano. Okay. Estamos hablando tiempo presente. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mozart composed, was composed or composed the magic flood. Composer? 
Uh -huh. Composed. Okay. Very good. Now pay attention. It says by. So in this case, we can identify that it is a passive voice. Okay. That is a good clue or key. Okay. Es una buena pista. Que diga by. Quiere decir que es, eh, estamos utilizando passive voice. Okay. So what will be the correct option here? So the magic float uh -huh. was, composed. Was, composed. was composed. Was composed by Mozart. Very good. Okay, summer trips. Mm -hmm. Was organized. Was organized. Okay, we are using here plural. Porque le hemos agregado la letra S. Entonces, si es plural, vamos a utilizar R. Summer trips are organized, are organized. Mm -hmm. by our school every year. Okay, good. George Lucas directs, was directed, or directed. Star Wars. Direct. Direction. Direct. Direction. Directed or di direct? Yes, or was directed? Which yes, one? Direct. A or C? Maybe A. Anything on C? Maybe C? Very good, because yes. it has been already directed. Ya lo, hizo, lo hizo en el pasado, okay? Si fuera direct, sería en el presente, pero como eso ya lo hizo, ya es pasado, okay? Directed. Okay, very good. Star Wars, uh -huh. Our direct. Were directed. By George Lucas. Okay, very good. Let me see the chat. Sandra Sosa will be as a listener. Okay, Sandra. Okay, William Shakespeare writes, wrote, or was written? Hamlet. Letter B wrote. Letter B, very good. Excellent. Okay, now Hamlet is written or was written or right by Shakespeare. Uh huh. Letter A. Letter B. Letter B. Okay, was written by. Fue escrita por, right? That is passive voice. Okay, very good. The fire was destroyed or is destroyed or destroyed the house. Letter C. Letter B. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. So, es una acción que pasó en el pasado. Okay. Pero la forma, la estructura que tiene da para que sea este verbo pasado, ¿ok? The fire destroyed the house. Si fuera, si dijera the house was destroyed by the fire, sería diferente, ¿ok? Ok, good. Mm, the house built was built or building by my father. Was built. Was built yeah. by my father. Okay, very good. 
this book are interesting this book have interesting or this book was interesting estamos hablando de, de un libro o de varios libros the one book. one okay only one book one, one, book. one. so in that case this book was little was, was interesting very good that was in past because it has been already read ya lo leyeron okay spanish mm -hmm. taught was taught or teach in this language school mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Maybe because maybe letter B. Uh, letter B. Okay. It's not present. It's just past. It's past. Okay. El español fue enseñado en <coughs> en esta um eh, escuela de lenguas. Okay. Very good. Okay, Picasso's paintings and drawings uh -huh, were sold or was sold or sold in the auction. Uh -huh. Auction. O auction, that is the name. Option. It is uh, cuando se vende algo en público. Was sold. Mm -hmm. Como una subasta, when people offer more money than others. Uh -huh. So Picasso's painting and drawings. Uh -huh. Were sold. sold. Were it sold or was sold? Were sold. Okay, very good. Okay, because uh, it says painting and drawing. Okay, mm -hmm. estamos hablando más de uno. Okay, the band best songs played or were played or was played at the concert were played were played very good because we are speaking in past tense okay excellent okay so there we have an examples of uh passive voice and active voice active voice we can we can say that is um for example an active voice you are going to see that later lo van a ver después okay pero un ejemplo de active voice sería um for example william shakespeare wrote hamlet Okay, ese sería active voice y passive voice de esa misma oración quedaría uh -huh. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare. Okay, so that that will be the passive. So later on you are going to see like um. The difference between passive, between active and passive voice. Okay. But just to give you an idea, that is the difference between active and passive voice. Okay. Really good. We're going to see more examples later. Okay. Yesterday we were speaking about the repetition 
in your business, in your company. Okay, that means um, if that is a good company, what people, what are the people's opinions, what people think about that your company, if that is good, that is uh, regular or that is bad. Okay. Reputation. Rep reputation. Okay. So how do business build their reputation? What is the reputation of the place you work for? Opinions? Do you have opinions that you can share here? According what you know, according what you have heard about other people, how uh, they will speak about your company, good, bad, or neutral. What are their opinions? Do you know? Uh huh. Someone. Enrique. How do you say panadería in English? Bakery. Bakery. Mm -hmm. Okay. The best bakery from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. The best bakery. bakery. Okay, good reputation. Good. What else? Uh huh. What else? Another opinion that you know? No? No more opinions? Okay. Okay. Uh, we have here a um, dialogue or conversation. How it's a, it's, it is called in the both ways. Ambas formas está bien. You can say dialogue or conversation. Okay, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. It is between Daniel and Jessica. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is or is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are you are right. Rex is rated as one of the ten most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Excellent. This is an example how to speak about your company. Okay. Good. I need volunteers. <coughs> I need two volunteers now. <laughs> Who? Please raise your hands. Mm, me, teacher. Enrique. Thank you, Enrique. Who else? Kenya. Okay. Very good. Go ahead. Enrique, you will be Daniel, and Kenya will be Jessica. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And... Are you happy to work Rex for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of, of 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Excellent. Very good. Good pronunciation. Okay. Thank you so much, Kenya and Enrique. I need another two volunteers. Uh, 
Ajá. Two volunteers. Sure. Me too. Ok, alta gracia. Thank you so much. Who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más me, par me participará? Me too. Johnny. Thank you so much, Johnny. Ok, Johnny, you will be Daniel and Alta Gracia will be Jessica. Go ahead. Ok. So, Jessica, what does, what does, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for you? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy the work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized oh. as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in the server. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, it's non. Non. Se tiene que escuchar la N, okay? Non. Es como conocido, reconocido, okay? It's known for, conocido por, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Another two volunteers. The last two. Los últimos dos. Me, teacher. Blanca Estela. Very good. Thank you, Blanca. Who else? Quien más? Me, teacher. William. Thank you, William. Okay, William, you will be Daniel and uh, Blanca will be Jessica. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so Jessica, what does your company do? All right, we produce club of kids. I see, and um, what is Red now for? Rex is now for the model dance and the quality of the clothes we make. Great, and um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely, um, Rex is Reconocing a very Rexis company that personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Red Ray as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Thank you so much. Good job. Okay, just uh, pay attention, Blanca, in this course, okay? Produce. Produced. Please repeat that. Produced. Produced. Yes. Also designed. Designed. Uh, designed. Okay. And recognized. And recognized. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Good job. Okay, now we're going to answer these statements, if they are true or false, according to the conversation. People know Rex produces clothes with modern design for kids, yet true or false? According to the conversation, that is true or is false? Uh-huh. True, teacher. True. It's yes. true. It's true. Yes. People know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. True false. or false? False. According, false. To the, according to the conversation? No, it's factory. Manufacturing now. Mm -hmm. It's false. False. It's but it's, true. But it's, but it, yes, it is true because it says 
praxis known for the mo for the modern designs and the quality, okay, quality of the clothes we make. So that means that it, they manufacture quality clothes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Sorry. That is true. Okay. People see Rex as a prestigious company. True or false? True. Okay. People Rex. People rate Rex as one of the twenty most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Mm, False. Damn. False. False, False because False. it is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, very good. So now we're going to create a similar conversation like this. This is a short conversation. For example, Daniel speak one, two, three, four times. We're going to, to create a, a similar conversation speaking about our company okay your bakery your company so i'm going to make um let me see how, how many students we have now 17 or oh, 60 but i'm going to ask is if, if the person is is here okay to make sure that you are going to work because if you are as a listener so probably you don't have time to work so let me see. Okay. <sighs> Altagracia, are you available? Yes, teacher. Yes. Araceli Hernandez, what about you? Are you available to work with Altagracia? Araceli? No? Well, Blanca Estela, what about you? Blanca? Hello. Yes. Are you available? Está usted disponible? Are you available to work with Alta Gracia? Um, yes. Okay, good. You will work with Alta Gracia. Okay, Enrique Martinez, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, Herman, Gustavo, are you available? Yes. Okay, you will work with Enrique. Thank you so much. Gloria Nicole, are you there? Gloria? Okay, Jacqueline Sanchez, are you available? Jacqueline? No. Well, Johnny Ismael, are you available, Johnny? Yes, teacher. Okay, Johnny. Jorge Alberto, are you available? Jorge? Jorge. Okay, Carla Rene, are you available, Carla? Carla? No. Okay, Kenya, yes. are you available, Carla? Okay. For the moment, yes. Okay, you will work with Johnny. Thank you. Okay, Kenya Moreno, are you available? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio, are you available to work with Kenya? Manuel? Manuel Antonio? No? Hi, teacher. Are you available to work with Kenya? Yes? Okay, good. Uh, Paola Guadalupe, are you available, Paola? Yes, Paola. teacher. Thank you so much. You will work with Soraya. Soraya, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And I have uh, William. Are you available, William? Yes, teacher. William Hernandez. Okay, you will work with Paola, Sandra, and William. So you will you will work you three because the rest uh is not available. Okay. You're going to open the rooms and you're going to create a similar uh conversation. 
okay? Like the one that we have here. Talking about your company, okay? Your bakery. So you can speak about the reputation of the company. You can uh, participate three or four times in the conversation. Let me open the rooms. I will be checking what you are doing, okay? I will open the room now. Acepten la invitación para eh, unirse al, al room, okay? Únense a los grupos. Ok, please, Herman, Carla y Manuel. ¿Recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos? Please do it. Thank you. Manuel. Please try to join to the group, to the room four. Kenya is waiting for you. The same for Herman. Enrique is waiting for you. Este Hola. 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 Ajá. Eh, ajá, sí, sí, más o menos así como la conversación, ajá. Eh, le tenemos que poner un nombre. No voy a rebalsar eso. Le puse este azúcar. Con el E4. No lo dejes de menear que se piche el pega abajo. Blanca, sí, hola. Eh, so Blanca, what does your company do? And you, you can, you can express at uh, at Los Tres Bakery. Mm, we produce uh, bread. 
que es pan, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Bread, bread. Ah, produce bread, sweet bread, porque es pan dulce lo que nosotros producimos. Sí, sí. Ajá. Es good. Ay. Y, y, y yo le, y este, bueno, yo le voy a decir, y and los trillizos of bakeries no, no for and and what is what is los trillizos of bakery no no for o sea porque es conocido los 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 trillizos uh -huh. digamos que usted se pone de que como se le encarga de hacer los pasteles ¿verdad? entonces uh -huh. qué hace con los, o que o que fuera pan dulce ¿verdad? o sea uh -huh. eh, Digamos, our, our products, podemos decir, our products are songs, are, are, uh, uh, the excellent quality, excelente calidad, quality, uh -huh. Uh -huh. our products are, uh, uh, the excellent quality, and, no sé qué más podemos decir de nuestro sí. pan es excelente calidad sería ah, y un ah, excelente ah, sabor ah, um, cómo se dice sabor <ríe> en inglés no, no. ajá um, pues, pero ya no lo pueden buscar flavor perdón Flavor. Flavor. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Cabal. Excellent quality and flavor. Ah, flavor. Flavor. Ah, como flavor. Sí. Ah, flavor. Um, this, uh, our product. Um, is our, our. Sí. Our products are. ¿Cómo se puede decir que son elaborados con. Hola, hello. Johnny and Carla, ¿estás working? Hi teacher. Hi. Are you are you working on the conversation? Um yes. Eh, por mensaje estamos. Porque creo que Carla estaba en otra cosa ahí. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. It's okay. So you can do it by text message. But when I um request your participation so we are going to do it in front of your classmates okay like the example that we read before okay verdad que es como la conversación sobre de qué pensamos de la panería yes mm -hmm. But the reputation of the bakery. Okay. Eh, Ay, sí, porque tenemos segundos, creo yo. Ah, es como, hi, Kenia, what are you doing? O sea, ¿qué estás uh -huh. haciendo? Uh -huh. y, y usted es como que, hi, Enrique, I'm prepared the things to pan para todos. Las cosas como para pan para todos. Y yo, what is pan para todos? O no sé uh -huh. decirlo. O sea, no sé si decirlo uh -huh. en inglés porque el nombre de la actividad en sí es en español. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto. Ajá, y como, sí. Vale, si quiere entonces nos no vamos escribiendo el diálogo. Eh, lo escribimos en... Lo quiero escribir. Ahí hay alguien más. 
Es, Ay, es... comparativo. Entonces sería mi primero. Uh -huh. Sí. Sería uh -huh. Hi Kenya. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. Y el signo es todo más. Y de ahí se contesta. Ay, Enrique. Ay, Enrique. Ay, Enrique. Ah, preparing, pre, 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 preparando. O sea, uh -huh. es, es un ING, pero no sé si es preparing. Uh -huh. Preparing. Preparing uh -huh. food. I, uh, I preparing. Uh -huh. The food to pan para todos. Preparing. Preparing. Yo le había puesto la A. Uh, I'm preparing. Solo llega preparing. 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 Preparing, creo. Mm -hmm. Preparing, creo. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing the food. To pan para todos. <laughs> Uh -huh. La yo. comida para y entre comillas va. Uh -huh. um, sí. Y ahí yo sería como de: What is pan para todos? ¿Qué es pan para todos? O, oh, What uh -huh. is that? O, oh, así como: ¿Qué es eso? Uh -huh. ah, pues podríamos poner así: What is that? Pero lo voy escribiendo porque yo me quedé. Sí, sí, lo voy escribiendo. Porque yo igual iba escribiendo, pero ahorita que lo estaba traduciendo me quedé. Ok, ¿hasta dónde se quedó? Uh, I'm preparing, aquí voy. I'm preparing the food. The food to pan uh -huh. para, pan para uh -huh. todo. Sí. Y ahí yo le contesto, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? Uh -huh. Ajá. Y entonces ya usted me explica. Es uh -huh. una actividad de parte de la panadería uh -huh. comprometida uh -huh. para la comprometida. What's that? What is that, verdad? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Uh -huh. Es como una actividad o... Ah, uh -huh. uh, no sé si llamarlo como programa, es un programa de, de la empresa. Mm, algo así, ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> where are you work? Uh -huh, where are you work? Where are you work? Oh. <laughs> I work in a bakery. Permit. And you? Okay. Está anotando su su línea, ¿verdad? Mhm. Mm sí, sí. Vaya. Después de Where are you work? Absolutamente. Otra palabra que no sea como absolutamente. Para decir que si estamos felices. Para no poner la misma, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sería como si eres mm. feliz. Sería, no se me ocurre más que yes. Bueno, um... no. Thank you. 
Que sería como... Claro que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, podría ser. Of course. Podría ser uno. Dice que, claro que sí, Rex es conocido como una empresa de gran prestigio. ¿Qué podemos poner ahí? Como que claro que sí, vamos a poner, oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Podría ser, um, podemos poner otra vez para el día los tristos. Eh, uh -huh. No sé, alguna cualidad que puedas poner, no sé, reconocido o no sé, algo así. Sí, eso. Is reconocer. Sí, creo que se pronuncia. Es conocido por, por sus buenos precios, no, no porque nos están hablando como. Claro que sí. Panadería. Calidad ya pusimos, ¿verdad? Arriba. Ya pusimos arriba. Sí. Por su, podría ser delicioso sabor o algo así, no sé. No podemos poner lo mismo. Es reconocida por su gran prestigio. Ya que... Y por su buena calidad del producto. Sí, también podría ser así. O sí, lo... sería <risa> is nice. Nice, ajá. A very, a very prestigious. Company. Ok. Company. Y podemos poner. Es reconocida como una empresa de gran prestigio. Y por su buena calidad. Era. Sí. Sí. Lo conoció por su gran prestigio y ¿eh? por su buena atención al cliente. Sí, sí. ¿Verdad? Es reconocida es una compañía de gran prestigio y por su buena atención al cliente. Podría ser. No era usted. <ríe> And for their <coughs> customer. customer service. La anotó lo último, se lo dicto. No lo tengo, me quedé en is recognizable. Uh -huh. 
As a very prestigious company. Uh, so you... very... Sí. Eh, y sería M for... Sí. For Dave, que sería D H E I E. Ya. D H E. D H E. Ajá. What does your company do? What does company do? Your company do? Y oh. ajá. Y la otra es what is los rizos? No. What what is los rizos bakery no un for? What is los rizos bakery? Ajá. For, ¿Por qué somos reconocidos? ¿Por Ajá. qué somos reconocidos? Por uh -huh. no. Ajá. No un for. O sea, ¿por qué somos reconocidos? No un for o por no. O conocidos por no un. O sea, es no. conocidos por. Ajá, porque uh -huh. somos conocidos. Y la tercera es. Um, uh, are you happy to work for, for los trillizos bacon? Are you happy? To work for los trizos bacon. Ajá. Ahí. Bye. Y por último es que me va a decir congratulations. Alta gracia. Ah, <ríe> congratulations. Bueno. Ajá, con congratulations. Bye. Ok, bye. Bueno, bye. Welcome back. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, the first group will be Altagracia and Blanca Estela. Are you ready? ¿Están listas? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, we are going to listen to you. You can start now. Okay. Blanca, tell me, please. Um, what that company? Uh, 
-hmm. What does company do? Okay. Uh, okay, I work I work in in Los Rijos Bakery and we produce sweet bread. Our produce are are make are, are make with ingredients of first quality. Um hey, what what is los trizos? Uh -huh. Are you happy? Um no uh, uh, um what is what is los trizos bakery known for? Okay. Um we are uh, we are specialists in green our to bring our clients produce with delightful taste um excellent ex excellent quality mm -hmm. a tercera um, a tercera mm -hmm. uh, are, are, are you happy sería la tercera yes um are you happy to work? To work for uh bakery industry Jesus, right? Yes. Uh I yes, of course, because our company have values and the main goal is our the light the palette of claims. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank Only you. Dishy. Thank you so much. Okay, clients. Repeat that. Client. 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 Yes, clients. Okay, very mm. good. Thank you so much. Good job. Okay. Uh number two. Well, number three, because number two didn't work. Number three, Johnny and Carla. Are you ready, Johnny? Yes, teacher. Okay. Carla? Ready. Okay. Okay. Um, hello, Johnny. Hello, Miss Carla. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Fine, thank you for asking. You're welcome. Um, great, and where do you work? I work in a bakery. Really? Yes. How do you feel in, in this job? I feel great, but sometimes I feel exhausted for much things to do. I understand. Um, I'm sure that the, the products are good and very delicious. Yes. The products are really good. It's amazing. I I glad for you. And you, where do you work? In the bake in a bakery, too. Really. Yes. Um make the bread um um some of your postre teacher come in the post you saw it Hola. so this or it this or mm -hmm. bread and this or oh really? i wish 
taste the bread and the or the products that you make? Yes, are um, very delicious and economic. Oh, it's amazing. Yes. Well, thank you for. <laughs> thank you for for the conversation. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Dessert. Okay, dessert. Okay, that is a correct pronunciation. Okay, dessert. 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 That is postre. Okay, any kind of uh, todos los tipos de postres. Okay, you can say dessert. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you so much, Johnny and Carla. Good job. Okay. Uh, now, Enrique and Kenya. Ready, Enrique? Yes, miss. Thank you. Are you ready, Kenya? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Hi, Kenya. What are you doing? Hi, Enrique. I'm preparing the food to Pan Para Todo. What is that? It is an activity carried out by the bakery, bringing food and bread to low-income communities. That sounds interesting. How can I be part of that activity? Sure. Just, just come with us today. That's great. Okay, let's go. Just that. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Interesting, Enrique. That's interesting. interesting. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, Paola and Soraya. Are you um, ready, Paola and Soraya? Yes. yes. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Soraya. What does your company do? At Panadería Los Frisos, produce uh, bread. I see. And what is bakery to use No, for. Uh, bakery Los Frisos is no for his quality products and good state of bread. Great. And are you happy to work for Bakery Los Rizos? Of course. That is the end? It recognizes for his prestigious company and for the good customer service. Congratulations, Soraya. You are, you are right. Bakery Los Rizos is one of, of the best. Very good. It's one of the best bakeries. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to continue here. Um, so you did a good job doing the conversation, okay? We already know, we already have uh, examples, right? How to use the passive voice. So we have um, contrast the sentences in bold, okay, like están en negrita, from the dialogue. For example, example two and the sentence it, example three, okay. Uh, which sentences emphasize 
the doors of actions. No. Recognize the Yes? Michelle, no puedo ver la pantalla. Oh, sorry. Let me... Let me share this screen. Oh, okay, okay. I have a problem at this moment. Mm -hmm. It is it is a really slow my internet. Let me see if I can connect my my cell phone data instead of the uh Wi-Fi. Because it's really, really bad at this moment. Let me see if that can fix the problem. Just a moment. Si me desconecto, me voy a volver a, a conectar, ¿ok? Lo más pronto que pueda, porque si ¿sí me escuchan. Yes, teacher, yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. Eh, Zoom se me ha quedado como no responden y se me, ha, eh, se me ha puesto en gris la pantalla y está como cargando. Ok, y por eso no puedo compartir en este momento. Estoy esperando. Ok, me voy a salir y voy a volver a entrar, porque, ajá, no se me arregla. Mm. 